But let's spend more time in the doing instead of in the, the shame of what didn't get done. Hey, hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, The Book and Magnet. Welcome back to another Motivation Monday with the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. I'm so excited that you're here. It's gonna be an amazing week. I already feel it, I already know it. Good things are happening now. Miracles are happening now. There are things and people and emails and scripts being written just for you. And it's so exciting. It's so exciting. You know, today I wanna to talk about getting back on track. A few episodes ago, you know, I shared about forgiving yourself for past mistakes. And this kind of is the cousin to that. It's about getting back on track. We've, we've all heard the saying, oh, we fell off the horse or fell off the wagon or whatever the sayings are. And I, I don't want us to spend too much time beating ourselves up for what didn't get done. The next best time to do it is now. So you may have uh, fallen off track with your self tapes. Maybe you've fallen off track with your auditions. Maybe you've fallen off track with being in class. Maybe you've fallen off track with spending time with your family, your friends, your spouse. Like, forgive yourself for that, right? We talked about that a few episodes ago, but then just get back up. Just get, as Donnie McClarkin would say, just get back up again. Just start again. You know, it, I've, I've experienced this mostly, you know, as a, actually as a business owner having a mailing list and wanting to be in contact with my mailing list every week and then sometimes forgetting and then feeling the need to apologize and oh my gosh guys I'm sorry I wasn't in touch for the past three months like who cares just start again <laughs> like either we're going to spend time apologizing for what we didn't do or we can just start again and that's what I want to encourage you put into your spirit today whatever it is that you think man I wish I maybe it's working out maybe it's eating better you know going for walks doesn't matter what it is. Be aware of it. And if it still matters to you, that's the key. If it still matters to you, make time for it. If it still matters to you, just decide that today is the day you're going to start again and start with a small step. Don't have to be huge. Don't have to be big. Okay. I'm going to keep this short and sweet and simple because I just want you to start with whatever it is. So if it's working out, do two push-ups today, boo. Do two sit-ups and be like, oh, I did it. Celebrate it and keep it moving. If it's calling a friend, hanging out with your spouse, cooking a healthy meal, uh, picking up a script to study, telling your agent or your manager, hey, I'm back. I took a little break, but I'm back and I'm geared up, I'm fired up and I'm ready to go. But let's spend more time in the doing and instead of in the, the shame of what didn't get done and regret, it doesn't serve you. So decide today that you'll just get back on track. And you don't have to get, on tra get back on track with everything at once. Don't overwhelm yourself. Pick one thing. I challenge you to pick one thing. Every week I have my, my private inner circle clients Inner Circle is my six month mentorship program. It's a very small group of people that I work with very intimately. And every Monday, my assistant Rebecca emails each of my private clients and asks them, hey, what is the one thing you're gonna focus on this week? And we mean it, we mean one. Why? Because you, yes, you may have tons of goals, but one of those things is the most important. And oftentimes, myself included, I'll make a to-do list for the day. I'm using air quotes, by the way. I'm saying it's for the day, but it's really, what was the to-do list for the month? So I'm setting myself up for, for failure every time. It's like, yes, I'm motivated. I'm gonna do all these things. Yes, but not today. <laughs> so I allow myself to do a brain dump and pretend like this is for the day, even though I really know it's really for the month. And then I look at that list every day and then say, hmm, if I only can pull one thing off this list for this week, what would that be? Because the way my brain works is I usually underestimate how long something's gonna take or how many pieces are a part of that bigger puzzle. And maybe you do the same thing. So if you need to, do the brain dump. Think about all the things that you may have fallen off track with and then just pick one and let that be the focus maybe for the month. And then break that down to the week. Then break it down to the day. What's one tiny thing you can do toward that thing today that will get you back on track? It could be as simple as picking up an apple instead of a donut. 
I hope this resonates with your spirit today. Be sure to reach out to me on Instagram at actress Christine Horn. Say hi. Let me know this was inspirational to you. Share this with an actor friend because why we don't grow alone. We don't want to be stingy and keep the good good to ourselves, right? Have an amazing week ahead. Remember that you have a gift that the world needs to see. Don't rob me and don't rob yourself of sharing that gift. Have a great week and I will see you on Monday. Bye.